Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia? of interference I made it to Saudi Arabia sir I'm at the safe house I guess that much see any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport no sir I don't think so that was a joke Mike but stay on your toes anyway finding Shahid is your primary objective trouble is we don't know his location but we have three leads an arms dealer Najri is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Do we have anything else on Nasri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plant a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Is there any way to be sure the missiles are there? Not at this time. The area is dug into the side of a canyon, and getting reliable satellite imagery when sandstorms aren't blowing has been almost impossible. We'll want you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Full security system? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. I understand, sir. We wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. There's also a weapons locker in the main living area. Open it up, help yourself, but use the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. All right, so is that it? Westridge. Great. Home sweet home.
Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. What do you think? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. <sighs> but it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. And here I am, talking to you now. Anything come up you need my help with? So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while then? Not as long as Westridge, and not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner... Analysis takes time, and now we have more information to work with. He won't get away. Those missiles leave a trail even Al-Samad can't cover up. I hope so. I just wish we'd gotten the intel quicker. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Because the missiles are used by the U.S. military? I think the American public would understand if they were stolen. I don't think so. And I think that's why the U.S. wants to keep this quiet. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Like what, the CIA? The CIA, the NSA. Most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? <laughs> to Beta or Gamma Protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given a choice, you're going to choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Especially Darcy. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was $4 a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? While al Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. Go on and be gentle. I won't. All right, then. But we want to keep a low profile. If we warn Shahid... I'll kill any witnesses. That isn't what I meant, but I think you know that. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. Sure is a lot of security. It's bad. 
it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Judging from the schematics, there's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel and the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. If you can fly, then you're welcome to try. I think you'd be surprised. ideas on some of the men in the camp. Looks like some of Shahid's a leader here. If you can take them out... Then I won't have to worry about running into them later. 